This copyrighted broadcast of the National Athletic Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities may not be retransmitted, reproduced, rebroadcast, or otherwise distributed or used in any form without the express written consent of Nudge Plus. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the 22nd season of the National Athletic Association of Schools, Colleges, and Universities. And we are here inside the beautiful uh, Cuneta Astrodome here in the city of Pasay. My name is Andy Grumel alongside Kyle Sanchez. And our court side reporter is uh, Maris Victorio, our third, I mean, that fourth game, Holy Angel University, Golden Guardians versus the City of uh, Pasay University. Almost at the home stretch. Coach Sandy here. <laughs> of the Naasku, the Green Eagles versus the Golden Guardians. Fourth game, as you said, Coach Sandy. And now we'll be joined by uh, our courtside reporter, Maurice. What's the latest there, Maurice? <laughs> season so expect them to perform well and heated today now for the city university of pasai their team chemistry is top notch they've been together through ups and downs that they will be playing together with passion and dedication about time to witness the ball game and operate take it away Excitement continues here at the Conata Astrodome in the city of Pasay for the 22nd season of your NASCO. Our game at hand, your city university of Pasay is going up against your Holy Angel University. It's time to meet the Zoners first for your city university of Pasai Green Eagles! At small forward number eight, Marco Celestino. Power forward number 12, Hans Yu. Center number 21, Neil Luterte. At two guard number 25, Jomar Yukto. And at point guard number 30, Kurt Mineses. Head coach of the Senior University of Pasay Green Eagles is Benedict Martin. Assistant coaches Ivan Sevilla and Ramon Martin. And now the starters for your Holy Angel University, Golden Gorgeous. Center number zero, Jarlan Manalotto. At point guard, number four, Hans Perez. Small forward, number six, Ramon Chito Rodriguez. The other forward, number eight, Yuri De Guzman. And at two guard, number 17, Miguel Quaresma. Head coach of Holy Angel University, Golden Guardians, is Emmanuel Garcia. Assistant coaches, Miguel Between and Osher Guntan. Our referees. All right, let's check the starters for the Holy Angel University Golden Guardians of Pampanga. They will start with Jarlan Manolotto, Hans Marvin Perez, Ramonchito Rodriguez, Yuri de Guzman, and Miguel Luis Quaresma. And the starters for the City University of Pasay Green Eagles, Mauro Celestino, Hans Yu, Neil Loterte, Jomar Yugtu and Kurt Meneses. The Green Eagles in ball possession, controlling the tip, and a foul is called. And this is definitely the home court of, of uh, the City University of Pasay. And uh, sobrang ingay ng crowd, di ko narinig yung pito. Two free throws na pala para dito 
a hometown team and the uh, first blood drawn by Hans Yu. The officials, Arnold uh, Piña Fuerte, Danny Rivera, and Owen Inductivo. Two out of two there for the Green Eagles at the free throw line. Dami fans dito. Ng Green Eagles, home court nga, eh, no? Yes, I'm uh, assuming, siguro, this is one of the courts that uh, they practice in. So, dapat gamay na gamay na nila. Bawat sulok at bawat kanto. Itong puneta aso doon. Nice play there for the Green Eagles. Loterte with the two points downstairs. 4-0 to start this game. That's a two-pointer from far away. Quaresma able to uh, get the field goal. 4-2 is our score. Two-man game. Celestino finds trouble with it. Take it away by Rodriguez. Rodriguez trying to be acrobatic that time. And Three on three. one break. You. Two points. Paragay Jomar Yugto. A good extra pass there coming from you. Inside we go. Very short on the release. We don't see uh, Yuri de Guzman. Tatawagan ang foul itong uh, uh, Green Eagles. And uh, just looking at both of these teams, no, you would assume na major evenly matched in terms of uh, height, maybe even the University of Pasay. But of course, we will see as uh, the time goes. But you know, Jomar Yugto is uh, why the home team has a four-point lead to start this game. Jump shot from far away. Basketball count plus a foul. <laughs> the crowd goes insane. Now you would think, uh, mo, over time now with the way that they are screaming their lungs out. And one by like Kurt Meneses. Bonus free throw coming up for the point guard. You know, kita natin sa replay. Stopping and popping. Right in front of the Quaresma, unfortunately, Kurt Meneses is unable to complete that three-point play. But a foul man. Now, itinawag dito kay Jomar Yugto. The Holy Angel University Golden Guardians. Apat na lang yung mga veterano na tira. Basically, bagong team ito eh. And that, Pampanga. That's right, Coach Sandy. It's always a challenge to field in a team of uh, mostly newbies. And mas marami pa yung mga baguhan kesa dun sa mga veterano. Their win-loss record last year was 3-6. and six. The Green Eagles will go with a score. Yeah. And Jomar Yugto taking it all the way. And an early timeout called by Coach Emmanuel Garcia. A 10-2 run for the Green Time out tayo dito sa Puneta Astrodome. The Green Eagles scoring at will here in the first time of the first. Join the fighting actions here with Johnny Park, Natalia, and Kenjiro. Game of the Immortals, available on the Google Play and App Store. Download now. You know, Game of the Immortals is the first ever progressive role-playing fighting game now available on Android and iOS. 
Download the game now and choose your first champion. And master their moves, perfect your combos. Nice, two points there for the hands, Marvin Perez. And the steal by the Golden Gardens. Both stays with the Golden Gardens. Trying to go on a run right now. Itong Holy Angel, uh, they are uh, trailing by six with uh, still a lot of time. Six minutes and 54 seconds remaining here in the opening quarter. Sixteen of the twenty-four. Three if it goes in, it does not. Rebounded by Di Guzman. And the ball goes out of bounds. It will stay with the Golden Gardens. Good effort there from Kurt Meneses to try and save that ball. But unfortunately, Gumulong na palabas before he was even able to touch it. Ball will stay with the Golden Gardens. Nine seconds to shoot. Intercepted by Perez. Perez! It bounces out. Oh, not sure why Perez did not use the glass. On that layup, no, that's one of the most basic things you teach young players when uh, attempting a layup, no? Just use the glass and make sure uh, easy shot na yun. The three did not go in. Quares mother rebound. Manaloto. A better defense right now. Coming from uh, the hometown team, City University of Pasay. Five minutes and 44 seconds remaining in the uh, first period. 13 of the 24 foul away from the ball. It's on number eight, and that is Maru Celestino. And a new player on the floor, that's John Luigi De Leon. Played high school basketball at Don Bosco. He is six foot zero. He's a shooting guard. When they say shooting guard, are you really a shooter? Well, not necessarily. <laughs> I don't think so, Coach. Three. No. Well, that was a good screen coming from uh, Capuno. With 5.21 to go, another foul called against the uh, Green Eagles. That will be their fourth team foul. And every free throw from here on out will give the Golden Guardian chances to get to the free throw line and uh, possibly cut this lead down. Six points. Shot clock, 12 seconds. Timbol. And Capuno will miss outside. Noi Gianni Capuno. A good rebound there coming yeah. from Yuri de Guzman. Now you see UP in the penalty. Early for them to be in the penalty situation. It's going to be a long first quarter for the Green Eagles. Uh, Neil Luterte needs to put a body on the opposing big men of uh, the Holy Angel Go Golden Guardian. So Yuri de Guzman was able to sneak in there for an offensive rebound. But he is unable to convert on either free throw. Shot clock at 10 seconds. Inside pass broken up by uh, Holy Angel University. I speed and the finish by Jomar Yugto. Jomar Yugto, once again, the beneficiary of a nice pass leading to a fast break layup. But uh, nasagot din agad 
ni Miguel Quaresma. The three-pointer is first here in the uh, first period. And the steal by the Golden Gardens. Ball stays <laughs> in their shot clock. Now keeping that in, in that instant replay, that three-pointer from the corner. But <laughs> Strong move by Yuri de Guzman. For the second time this quarter, Yuri de Guzman is able to fish a foul from Neil Luterte. Safe to say, Luterte will head to the bench as he has two fouls already. We are only in the first quarter. Played high school basketball at the Jose Rizal University. To see Yuri de Guzman, he's six foot three. But he's center for uh, Holy Angel University. A bit undersized, no, for the modern big man, 6'3", but he knows how to maneuver in the paint. A timeout will be called for the uh, Green Eagles. We'll be right back. Join the action-packed battles of Game of the Immortals. Introducing Johnny Park, Natalia, Kinjiro, soon to unlock Marin Lee, Sister Christina. Hurry and play now to unlock more levels. Game of the Immortals, available on Google Play and App Store. Download now. Cal Holy Angel University eagerly welcomes this season with a roster filled with new faces. Their rookies are brimming with excitement to show everyone everything that they have in store. Ika nga ni Coach Emmanuel nagigil ang mga bata and his only wish for them is to be free from pressure and first game jitters. He just wants them to enjoy the experience of playing basketball. Although consisting mostly of new players, Coach Emmanuel trusts in their team's chemistry especially with his trusted veterans stepping up and leading the team. Sandy and Kyle? Kanya sinasabi ko kanina, apat lang yung veterano na tira sa kanya, eh, no? So, uh, uh, it's basically a new team. <laughs> Coach uh, uh, Manny Garcia. Staff ng isang team, when iba na yung mga piyesa that they have to work with, and that's one of the challenges that they will be facing in this new season. But of course, I'm sure they are up for the challenge. And thank you once again to Beyonce for that wonderful report. Three minutes and four remaining in the uh, first period. Coach Sandy, mukhang mababawasan ng trabaho itong si Maris. Oo. Oh, pa, ano na lang si Maris eh. Pa, upo po na lang si Maris eh. Oo, oh, no, magiging mentor na. Nagme-mentor na siya eh. Mukhang maaga magre-retire itong si Maris. Nagalit pa. <laughs> 14 of the 24. And Digos Man unable to score inside. Here come the Green Angels, or the Green Eagles. And that was a beautiful left-handed pass coming from Danilo Ruiz, finding a cutting Kurt Meneses open for that layup. Not an easy pass to make. Another steal and basket for us, uh, CUP. Green Eagles. And kanina si Danilo Ruiz yung namasa and this time siya naman ang nag-finish ng fast break. Nice feed inside. Finds trouble with it. Itong si Yuri de Guzman. And then sportsman-like foul will be called on Ruiz. Maaga pa tayo eh, no? Pero... <laughs> Masyadong uh, agresibo lang itong si uh, Daniel. Sila ni uh, Tristan Tubangi nagkakabanggaan. No? Kita natin dito sa ating instant replay. A forearm to the back of the head. Inaantay well, din ni ano eh. Yung uh, si Tabingi. Yung Pangi, so, by the way. As we see here sa ating replay, no? medyo na bato. Forearm coming from... Uh, 
Ito ang si uh, Jomar Yugto. Yung retaliation kasi yung nakikita eh, no? Yes. Sa, alam mo naman, magulang itong si... Or rather, sorry, it's uh, Danilo Ruiz. Yes, si Tristan Tubangi. Alam na alam niyang... Uh, lumalapit sa kanya si, ano, eh, si uh, Danilo Ruiz eh. So, inaantay, inaantay talaga niya. Yeah, medyo napiko niya tayo itong si uh, Danilo Ruiz. Kaya tinamaan sa batok. Yes. And itong si uh, Tristan Tubangi. Of course, we don't want to see that, no? As much as possible, we want to tr try and uh, promote sportsmanship among our student athletes. And, uh, of course, cooler heads will prevail. And now, itong si Tristan Tubangi, who is the recipient of that forearm to the back of his neck, will take these free throws and he's able to convert. Seven points na lang, inahabol nitong Holy Angels. So the ball will still be with Holy Angel. It's a six-point advantage for the uh, CUP Green Eagles. Ten of the 24. Patawagan a foul. And kaya medyo tumatagal itong first quarter natin. Uh -huh. And because of all of these fouls that CUP has been committing, they are the only team right now who, are in, who is in the penalty. Maaga sila nag-penalty. Five minutes pa lang, penalty na sila eh. That's right, Coach Sandy. And ang masakit pa dyan is uh, hinahayaan nilang mabigyan ng free points. Itong Holy Angel, Holy Angel naman, nakoconvert nila yung mga free throws nila. And that's why, five points na lang. And slowly but surely, they're coming back here in the game. Down by only five points. CUP with seven wins and three losses last year. They were defeated by Ama University in the quarterfinals. It's a strong team. That was a strong move. Jericho Depas. Hanging in the air, absorbing the contact. And Smallest Bernard, guy on the floor. Bernard Kasuyon with the rejection downstairs. And kita natin, no? That beautiful crossover driving baseline. Binali pa niya behind his head. Yung bola. But still able to finish. Numbers. And the putback by Movilia. John Lloyd Movilia. And it's obvious that this CUP team is feeding off of the energy of the home crowd. Yes, a oh, good play there for Holy Angel. That's a very nice pass, Jerlan Manaloto, a recipient of uh, that beautiful extra pass coming from his teammate. The Green Eagles is shooting 69% uh, from the field. A traveling violation called on Movilia. The Green Eagles, nine out of 13 from the field. The uh, Golden Guardians, 4 of 16 from the field. That's 25% shooting. Yes, not, uh, not the best shooting percentage to start this game. Shot clock 10. A one-second differential between the game clock and the shot clock. What a move by uh, Tubangi. Whoops! And that will end our first quarter with the Green Eagles ahead by seven points. 22-15. Second quarter is coming up next. You're watching the uh, opening hostilities of the second season.
All right, second quarter action here. With Carl Sanchez, my name is Sandy Grumo. 22 for the Green Eagles, 17 for the Golden Guardians. A strong start to the home team, the City University of Pasay Green Eagles. Pero dikit lang itong Holy Angel. The Golden Guardians, one out of five from beyond the arc. And that's great timing on the block coming from... <laughs> Good timing. I'm sorry, that's <laughs> oh, number four. Movilia is number 14. There's the strong penetration, too short to Bangi. And the steal by De Leon. The pass backs off. Strong move by Movilia. He will go to the line. Good recognition there by De Paz. <laughs> you see uh, Movilia, two points and two rebounds here in the first half. The Green Eagles, they're shooting. Uh, Two out of four from, from the line. Now three out of five from the line. Manaloto. You know, Manaloto plays all five positions. And you know, what a luxury to have a player like him in your lineup. Pwede mag-rebound, pwede magdala ng bola, and you can... Uh, Switch him on to uh, different players depending on the matchups. 23 17. Lamang dito on Green Eagles. Anim na puntos. They have been in control for most of this ball game. Di lang sila sobrang makalayo. Itong uh, Holy Angel keeping in step. Only two possessions separating the two. Kawagan ng uh, foul itong si uh, Tristan Tubangi. That'll be their second team foul. Eight second backward violation. Matagal na naibaba ni Ruiz yung bola. Yes, that's good defense from Tristan Tubangi. He was able to delay the offense just enough for that eight second violation infraction to be called. Nine seconds remaining in the shot clock. Manoloto. Here come the Green Eagles. What a move by Del Hyun. That was a beautiful behind the back move coming from Luigi De Leon and uh, finishing with the right hand as well. Del Hyun with the interception. The pass thinking three. He changed his mind. To Bangi fronting him. Three-pointer. That's good. That is Danilo Ruiz from downtown. And that was a great pass coming from Jericho De Paz. He was able to set up the offense perfectly at the hand. As you see here, yung behind the back, nito ni De Leon finishing with the inside hand. And ito naman, De Paz finding the open teammate right in the corner. For that open three, Danilo Ruiz. Now, available on Google Play and App Store. Go on, Pinoy! All right, we have 
it back, 28 to 17. Ball against uh, Holy Angel. Approaching the uh, six minute mark of the uh, second period. Foul is on number six. It's on uh, John Luigi De Leon, his first personal and, and the first team foul. Hindi makapaniwala si De Leon. Siya'y natawagan ng foul because he felt that Jerlan Manaloto pushed him in the back. Nevertheless, you have to respect <laughs> the referee's decision, but uh, balik din agad ang bola. Need to see you, P. Green Buma Eagles. Bumawi naman sa depensa, eh, no? That's right. Coach, full court press naman ang ginagawa nitong uh, Holy Angel. De Leon. Yes! <laughs> Very active here is De Leon. Block from behind. Danilo Ruiz with a rejection. And that's a great block coming from Danilo Ruiz because he kept the ball in plate. Pinatama pa niya. Oh, technically. And uh, as we see here, it's an instant replay. Not yung three pointer ni Luigi De Leon. And after that, this was called for a technical foul for taunting after that, getting that block. Yeah, out of the playing court, kasi kadina. Sportsman like didn't say. That's right, Coach Sandy. He was uh, assessed a tech, an unsportsman like foul for that forearm to Tristan Tubangi. You know, that sa batok ni Tristan. Tinamang siya kanina. That was uh, Danilo's first unsportsman like Sayang. foul. Pa naman yung nilaro niya. Oh, nga. and ngayon, technical foul naman for taunting is called on Ruiz. So he will have to uh, sit the rest of the game out and uh, medyo na paaga ang pag uh, pahinga niya. And sometimes that can work against you, yung gigil mo. Eight second backcourt violation. That's the second oh, no. yeah. already this quarter that uh, CUP has been assessed an eight second violation. So they have to make a conscious effort. Na itawid agad ang bola. Five minutes. Thirty-one seventeen. Nice move by uh, Manoloto. Means that he's not the dala of the ball. He's not a post. He's not a post up. Medyo uh, parang uh, in tweener. Nakaspil naman. Na Manaloto. <laughs> Ball stays with Holy Angel. Ang layo pa ng uh, binahin itong uh, Holy Angel. They're, uh, they're a team from Pampanga. Indeed in Biro, even uh, especially on a weekday. Uh -oh. Or rather a weekend. Uh, of course, maraming sasakyan pa rin sa daan and the traffic is no joke. So the dedication that they show to show up here, Sakuneta, and perform for the crowd. Quebec. Movilia, 4-3. De Leon backs off. Shot clock at five. It's two. It's one. And rebounded by David. Under, um, under five minutes remaining in the first half.
Three for three, that's good. And it's John Lloyd Movilia from downtown. And uh, the CUP Golden e Green Eagles sharing the wealth, everyone getting to touch that ball and contribute. Three on one. Movilia will finish the job. Menezes with a feed. And Holy Angel has to do something to stop the bleeding. Oh, yes. The lead is at 17 already. Nowhere to go inside, it don't see. As the young will score, see uh, Capuno. And the last thing that the Golden Guardian should do right now is maganya kanya sila. They still have uh -oh. to execute and trust the system and the game plan na binigay ng coaching staff nila. just a moment ago wasn't able to understand what's coming up para dito kay Ramoncito Rodriguez all right let's uh, check in with Samantha what do you have Samantha Sandy and Kyle head coach Benedict Martin from the City University of Pasay told us that they have four rookies who are working on their skills like dribbling passing and shooting and they also joined preseason tournaments since February to prepare for the season. Right now, things are looking good because according to Coach Benedict, even if the team is undersized, their chemistry is something to look out for. These players have been with each other since the pandemic, so their, their bond is tested and true, especially in the court. Basketball equates to brotherhood indeed. Back to you guys. They're like a family already. You know, can see your players, eh? Tapos, apat yung nawala, di ba? So, yung core group, nandun pa rin, eh? And doing that in, coach. And by the way, thank you, Samantha, for her first ever foresight report. Thank you very much for that insightful and uh, very knowledgeable report coming from Samantha. Thank you once again. And yun nga yung nabanggit ni uh, Samantha in that report, yung uh, pandemic pa lang, magkakasama na sila. Oh. So that bond, nung pandemic, wala kayong ibang uh, kasama at kausap araw-araw, kundi yung isa't isa. And the bond and the... Uh, the camaraderie that they've built through these past years. Na lumalabas nga naman on the court. Nagkakaamu yan sila. Alam na nila where to find each other out there. And yung tiwala na build na nila through these years. At uh, sumasali sila sa mga tournaments din eh. Talaga. Mga chemistry na binuo nila para pagdating oh, sa mga mother. Oh, that's chemistry nila. for you. <laughs> that is a great cut. After the first cutter, eh, may sumabay eh, yung depensa. Eh, yung second cutter, wala na nauli. Oo. Oh na basa ni Kurt Meneses no that uh, di napasa yung bola siya naman yung kumat and uh, luckily for him he was able to finish that layup as well almost uh, well 20 oh no rather 19 points ang kalamangan dito ng CUP 43-24 taken away by uh, Miguel Quaresma 17 points ang inahabol ng Golden Guardian. And this is a good idea here for the Green Eagles. Settle down and try to get into your offense as the second quarter winds down. Quaresma with five points. Rebounded by Manaloto. Rodriguez shoots and scores from downtown. And things getting chippy once again. Rodriguez and uh, John Lloyd Movilla getting into it. Who? My technical, na naman. Another technical, no? Talagang uh, yung uh, energy <laughs> nitong CUP. They're really <laughs> can work against you. And of course, our officials once again will be reviewing Oy, what has transpired and. Uh, Sarap talaga. <laughs> Second time already that uh, in front of the referee may nangyayaring uh, extra motion. And you don't want to see this if you're the Green Eagles kasi kayo na nga yung lamang. Oh. Earlier, uh, si uh, Danilo Ruiz ay uh, na thrown out, ano? And he was playing good as well. Yeah. And uh, of course, we don't want to see anything untoward 
happening to any of the players here in the ASCO or in any league for that matter. Of course, we just want good, clean, competitive basketball and uh, the referees are here to control the action. Forty-three to twenty-nine. So a technical foul called on number fourteen, John Lloyd Movilia for unsportsmanlike behavior. And also a double foul for uh, Ramoncito Rodriguez and Movilia. Ramoncito Rodriguez hits that first free throw. That's how you break the diamond press. I convert John Lloyd, but uh, that was good passing. A steal there coming from the Green Eagles. And a basket back from the outside. That's right. Great pass there. Coming from Kurt Meneses. A 13 point lead for the Green Eagles. That's a a last foul. Shot. Last shot na dapat para sa Holy Angel, but uh, another foul is committed. And yung badhabi na sinasabi mo kanina, na hindi man lang attempt kasi penalty eh. That's so right. two free throws yan. Two free throws coming up for the Golden Guardians, and uh, the ball will go back for the last shot. Dito sa Green Eagles with 12.5 seconds remaining in the first half. The Green Eagles with a 15 point advantage. And Manalotto scoring at the line, cutting down the lead to 14. Nice feed. Movilia scoring again. No more time remaining. And that will end our first half here inside the Conetta Astrodome. 47 for the Green Eagles, 31 for the Golden Guardians. Third quarter is coming up next.
Our halftime score, the Green Eagles 47, the Golden Gardens uh, 31. Uh, with Carl Sanchez, my name is Sandy. <laughs> Yung mga highlights kanina sa first half, uh, Kyle. Yes, Coach Sandy. Itong uh, CUP, of course, the hometown team, City University of Pasay off to a good start here in the uh, first half. They were making their baskets and they were able to get some turnovers as well dito sa Holy Angel, which allowed them to... <laughs> at ngayon, 16 points ang kalamangan nila. Let's look at the numbers. 66% from the field compared to 30%. In favor of the Green Eagles, 15th assist to 8th. Para naman, and of course, in favor then to CUP. Bench points, lamang na lamang then, 29 to 5. In favor of the Green Eagles. And points in the paint, we are not surprised, 26 to 12. As most of their baskets have come from layups and uh, attacking the paint for the CUP. <laughs> Golden Guardian to try and get back into this ballgame. 16 points, a very manageable deficit heading into the third quarter. By the way, uh, watch uh, Naasco, watch it live and on demand on Blast uh, TV. Subscribe now for only 149 pesos. Download and register now on Blast TV. Follow Naasco on Instagram for more updates and follow also the Nudge Plus as well as on YouTube for even more updates. All right. Ano ba gagawin ng Holy Angel University? Para makahabol dito sa ating uh, laro, Kyle Sanchez. Well, it would have to start on the defensive end. That's where uh, they can try to force turnovers dito sa CUP. Very evenly matched sila in terms of uh, you know, height. But uh, talagang mas na-execute lang ng CUP yung game plan nila. And that's been uh, pressing itong Holy Angel. And they've been making it difficult for the Golden Guardian to set up their offense. And that's why... The Holy Angel has been uh, has had a hard time putting points up, 31 points lang compared to 47 para dito sa CUP. And uh, mukhang extended din ang sermon na binibigay sa mga <laughs> players ng Golden Guardian. Tapos na tayo sa halftime break but yet ngayon pa lang sila lalabas from the dugout and uh, hopefully they will have made the necessary adjustments come the second half. By the way, coming up next uh, Ama University and colleges will take on and they run colleges. And that will be the last game of our five game opening here in the 22nd season of the Naasco Dito sa Coneta Astrodome in Pasay City. Thank you to everyone who has watched live and, of course, mga nanonood sa live stream. Thank you for supporting the opening of Naasco. Our new era uh, university won the first game with, with uh, James Manzano. Best player of the game, 12 points and 10 rebounds, a double-double performance. Yung second game natin, nanalo ang Our Lady of Fatima University uh, versus uh, PCU Dolphins. Best player, Andre Romero with 17 points. Third game natin, St. Clair, nanalo po. Uh, ang best player, si Ryan Sewell with 25 points. No kind bounce there para the CUP. Third quarter just underway. Shot clock at uh, 15 seconds. For three. There's still nothing for the Green Eagle. So this is Holy Angel's chance to try and cut this lead. And that was Manoloto. an ill-advised shot. Menezes backs off. Nice play. Oh, sayang yun, no? No conversion still. Coming from the Green Eagles, although that was a good move right there to evade the defense from Kurt Meneses. <laughs> yes, still scoreless are both of these teams almost at the two minute mark here in the third quarter. Well, we'll go back to Holy Angel. 
Both teams unable to score here in the third period. With two minutes gone already. Ito, yun, pasok. Para kay uh, Yuri Di Guzman, first field goal of the third period. Approaching the uh, seven-minute mark of the third. Outside shot, wala, reverse, ganda. Para kay uh, uh, Kurt Meneses. That's the type of second effort you want to see from your players, even from your guards. Tatawagan a foul. See uh, Jose. Uh, as you see here, sa ating uh, instant replay, short dun. Yung uh, tira nito ni Plays at the right time. Rooms out. And look at that block. The smallest player on the floor, Kurt Meneses, blocking itong si Yuri De Guzman, who is uh, 6'3", while itong si Kurt Meneses stands at 5'9". Uh, so impressive timing there coming from the point guard of the Green Eagles. <laughs> Seven minutes and one second remaining. <laughs> From the free throw line, no. Pushing foul called on, on uh, Jomar Yugtu. Bangi will throw it in for the Golden Guardians. Manolotto lost it, picked up by Tubangi. Manolotto gets by his defender. Nice feed. 4 3. Short. Because Bond missing out the putback, and Manolotto will score. Finally, able to convert on a basket. Second and third chance for uh, Holy Angel. Now we'll turn you over to Maris Victoria. Maris? Sandy and Kyle, intense atmosphere inside Holy Angel University's dugout. Head coach is definitely not happy. Ika niya maganda ang ginagawa. Hindi lang nakaka-convert at nakaka-execute ng maayos na defense. Advice ni coach, kahit anong intense ang laban, huwag makikipag-away. Still show sportsmanship and play as a team. Sandy and Kyle. Oh, tama yung uh, sinasabi niya. Eh, huwag, huwag lang mag-iba ba, no? Oh, oh, of course you have to have that Play as a team. Yes, you have to have that right mindset. Even though nagiging physical na yung laro, you still have to keep your concentration, focus on the game, focus on the game plan, and whatever the coaches are instructing you about what you should do when you are given the minutes. But uh, itong si... Who was this? This was uh, Jose Hitting that basket, bonus free throw to extend this lead once again to 15, which he does. Nakataka full court press ulit itong CUP Green Eagles. For three, that's good! Sinukat pa. And the Green Eagles breaking that press applied by by uh, the Golden Guardians. Shot clock at seven. It's five now. It's four. Four, three. Yes, sir! And that is uh, uh, Jose Quebec from downtown. Quick shot by uh, John Limuel de Guzman. That's a foul from behind committed by Digosman. John Limuel. 
Holy Angel is doing a better job of uh, converting their stuff. They uh, have to be able to get some stops on the opposing end and not allow it on CUP to just take wide open shots like we see here. That is too easy. You can't leave any of the players wide open, let alone a shooter. 55-42. Shot clock reads at 10 seconds. Yugto. Offensive foul called on him. And they can't be careless right now. Speaking of the CUP Green Eagles, it's only a 13-point lead, and we still have another quarter left to play. So you can't be complacent if you're CUP. You have to keep your foot on the gas. So uh, Yuko will take a seat back in action. Is uh, Dilion who made a good account of himself back in the first half. De Guzman. Rebounded by Meneses. Three on three break. Now it's a three on four break. Traveling violation called against uh, Jose Quebec. That'll be turnover number 14 for the Pasay, or the uh, City University of Pasay. Rodriguez. Passes to three. De Guzman inside. Traveling violation cold. And back to back turnovers for both teams. So you were talking about turnovers. That will be the, the uh, 14th for Holy Angel University. Under four minutes to go. And a bad pass by De Leon. And that was just too strong. It was impossible for Jose Quebec to get that ball. And it was also a little too high. So another chance for Adidas the Golden Guardians to cut this lead down. Shot clock at 13 seconds. Traveling violation. Another turnover for the Green Eagles. This time it's uh, Sherwin Meneses. Or uh, rather that's... Uh, the Guzman. Shot clock at 10 seconds. That's a long two pointer from Jose Quebec. Played high school basketball at the Arandia College. De Guzman short on the three attempt. Uh, that was a good line. Lagang kinulang lang. But uh, that was a straight shot coming from him. 15 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Quebec banks it in! <laughs> Back to back three pointers coming from Jose Quebec. Now, uh, CUP very patient during that situation, looking for. <laughs> it was Jose Quebec nailing it down. Oh, well, that's a long two pointer, by the way. This is the three by Quebec. Back in a moment.
That's the muse of uh, Andy Run uh, Colleges. I believe that's Holy Angel, actually. Oh, Holy Coach Angel, Andy. sorry. One of the... Uh, I mean, uh, uh, sa kulay, no? Oh, uh, same color almost. Uh, she is one of the awardees kanina for uh, <laughs> yung, uh, Muse Awards dito sa ating uh, opening ceremony. Well, later on, we'll see Andy Run Colleges will take on Ama uh, University. A minute 47 to go. I'm not sure what the offense is trying to run there. But uh, De Leon gets the ball back. Ball is cold. It's, it's in the active shooting. So uh, John Lloyd Movilla will go to the free throw line. Uh, actually, correction, Coach Sandy, that is only the oh. fourth team foul. Already to the Golden Guardian. So, uh, baseline inbound, but this time, upunta na talaga sa free throw line. Ito si John Lloyd Movilla. Big numbers for John Lloyd Movilla, who came off the bench. 10 points, 6 rebounds, and 2, two assists. Leading the way for uh, the uh, Green Eagles, Jose Quebec with 16 points, Kurt Meneses and Movilla with 10 points apiece. Free throw shooting for CUP, four out of six at the line. Take that four out of uh, seven, not too bad. But uh, you're not getting to the line enough. Seven free throw attempts. We're almost at the fourth quarter. De Leon. Ganda. John Lloyd Movilla, very active at both ends of the floor. Four, three, no. Deliot tatawagan ng foul away from the ball. Now both teams are in the penalty with 46 ticks to go. That beautiful pass. That's the type of chemistry that Clarice was talking about in her report earlier. Samahan na nabuo ng mga players ni the Coach Benedict Martin throughout the pandemic and these past few years as well. That chemistry is uh, being shown on the court. And that's why they have a 17-point uh, lead right now. Sixty-two forty-five. Free throw shooting uh, for Holy Angels, six out of 15 from, from the line. That's 10 is with no room to breathe and turning the ball over. Well, great left deflection there coming from Berdan Kasuyon, which uh, stopped that fast break. De Leon into the cutting Movilia. Nice play by CUP. Green Eagles. 12 seconds left on the game clock for Holy Angels to work with. There's the bang. Inside, no basket. But I Caputo. And De Leon uh, throwing a Hail Mary shot. And the third period will be right back. 64 40. <laughs>
Download now. Available on Google Play and App Store. Go on, Kanoi! Fourth quarter action, 64-45, the Green Eagles, they are ahead. And I can say total control of the entire second half. And that's the way you want to start this fourth and final quarter if you're the uh, Holy Angel Golden Guardian. And that's with a three-pointer. Now the lead is back down to 16. Holy Angel with another steal here. Unfortunately, offensive foul. 64-48. First team foul for us, uh, Holy Angel University. What a shot by Jericho De Paz played high school basketball at Don Bosco. Uh, we all know Don Bosco has a very good uh, grassroots program as well from the grade school and the high school ranks. Oh, medyo masama ang bagsak dun. And uh, it looks like it is, uh, who is that on the floor? It looks like Tristan Tubangi once again. Kanina pa. Nabubugbog itong si Tristan Tubangi. <laughs> Nasisiko, nababatukan, hard screens left and right. And now I wasn't able to see what ex happened exactly. Nakita ko na lang si Tristan, nakabulit. <laughs> Our officials are going to take a look at the replay as we see here. Ayun. Ayun. Binigyan ng isang uh, kaliwa. <laughs> I don't... I don't... <laughs> said to the entire team of CUP. <laughs> Pero lahat sila, kanina pa siya na pagtitripan at nauupakan. Pero ano eh, lamang sinabi nga natin, lamang na lamang itong Green Eagles. Yes. Uh, Sa kailangan yung uh, composure nila, no? Huwag masyadong uh, im naging emotional eh, no? Yes, may gigil talaga yung mga players nitong CUP and uh, unfortunately it's manifesting itself in negative ways. Alam mo namang ways. Tat tatlo na yung referee natin, may replay pa. And, uh, just want to get uh, a better angle, I guess, kung meron man. But uh, it's very clear what uh, happened in that previous possession. And hindi naman umaarte itong si Tristan to yung bumubulag tayo sa sahig. There's good reason why he's been falling on the floor so many times in this game. Oh, disqualifying foul yan. Thrown out na. And that is the second time this game that a player has been thrown out. Para sa Green Eagles. Mabilis sila kagad na uh, mag-retaliate eh, no? Yes. Yung problema, yung composure nila. Dagok sa kanilang kuponan ngayon. Let's take a look at this one. As you see the two players on the corner on the upper right part of your screen. Jericho De <laughs> Tristan Jericho Dubangi, who is at the free throw line right now. Now for CUP6, let's hope that this doesn't light a fire underneath uh -oh. the Holy Angel. At bigla sila magising because anything can happen with the 8 minutes and 34 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. 18 points is still a very manageable uh, deficit 
for any team to overcome. So do not uh, stay glued to your screens, rather, because di natin na tayo sure kung ano magiging resulta ng larong Mahaba pa yan na Kyle, no? Yes. Eight minutes and 34 seconds. Yes, so that is still a lot of time. And uh, Tristan hitting his free throws, slowly cutting this lead down. And if he makes the second one, 16 na lang, ahahabulin uh, nila. Six points already for, now seven points for Tubangi. Four rebounds and one assist. And ang sayang din, uh, si Jericho De Paz, who was thrown out, is also uh, has been a key contributor here. Para sa CUP. So uh, Jericho De Paz and Danilo Ruiz, two players who have been contributing well for the Green Eagles, have both been thrown out of this ball game. And uh, that's yep. what we were talking about, Coach Sandy. Si, uh, five, uh, five Alfaro, point swing. Five point swing, just like that. 13 points na lang ang inahabol. And nakaagaw pa si Tristan. 11 na lang ang inahabol. Itong Holy Angel. A seven point swing para sa. Holy Angel, Beyonce, what do you have? Awareness, awareness, awareness. That was the key takeaway from Coach Benedict's instructions to the City University of Pasay players. He constantly reminded them to be aware of everything happening in the court, from the shot clock to their fouls and everything in between. He told his players to act according to the situation. He also put emphasis on increasing their rebounds and the words, mag tayo pre, can be heard among his players showing how much his players respect and heed the guidance. Thank you very much, Beyonce. A very, uh, once again, well thought out and informative report from Beyonce. <laughs> Coming from that team of uh, sila Coach Benedict Martin. Yan yung, uh, yung nagre-reports pala natin si Samantha at si Beyonce. Yan yung minimentoran ni, uh, ni uh, Mary. <laughs> Maris. <laughs> Nagagandahan eh. <laughs> Oh, another two points. Para dito sa green. I'll make that Golden Guardians. 12 points. Dose. Once again. 69-57. Three. That's good. That's uh, Jomar Yugto. Pero ito si Rodriguez. Kumambio at pumasok yung layup. 72-59. And the steal. By Tubangi, tatawagan ng foul itong si De Leon. Ito naman si Tubangi, yung sakripisyo na binibigay niya. Tinatamaan siya, yung sinasabi mo nga kanina, especially yung mga screen, pag hindi mo alam, masakit yun eh. Yes, Coach Andy, he has been sacrificing his body the entire ball game. Medyo naawa na ako dito kay Tristan Tubangi kasi tuwing nakikita ko siya, bigla na lang nakabulagtak sa sahig. But the uh, heart of a champion and the heart of a warrior, itong si Tristan getting up time and time again and still not giving up. That was a Fanny Hardaway move. Oh, no, a spin move to step uh, back. Siya lang may ganun eh. Oh, Digosman finishing the job. <laughs> And they cut down the lead to 11, 72 to 61. CUP has to uh, settle down and uh, maybe slow the game down. Gusto pa bilisin oh. yung pace nitong Holy Angel. Pabor sa kanila yung uh, transition game right now at least. Three. No, it bounces out because Mon the rebound. So Bangi brings it across, sees the lane wide open. And lost it, Alfaro keeping it alive. To Bangi, able to get to it, shot clock down to 10. Manaloto. Are they aware of the shot clock? They have five seconds to work with. Three, short. It did not hit the rim. Uh, that was way short. And the second effort ni Jerland Manaloto, it did not work in their favor as well. Ball will go back to the Green Eagles with five minutes and 30 seconds left. Still 11 points, very manageable. And for CUP, gusto mong dagdagan pa yan. Quebec. Oh, 
nice play. Uy, hindi man lang na tinamaan yung ring, ano? Binali pa. Ni Movilia, sayang. Wasted opportunity. Alfaro. Rebounded by Movilia. Bumawi sa rebound. Itong si Movilia. Meneses. And right across the border. Quebec. Meneses. Four and a half remaining oh, in the game. Horns action right now for the Green Eagles. And that was a great pass to uh, a cutting teammate underneath the basket. And a foul was committed by Alfaro. Dito kay uh, Jose Quebec. Or rather, uh, Manaloto. 72 to 61. Yung sinasabi mong horns action. No? Oh, yes, correct. That is the fifth foul of uh, Jordan Manaloto. Dalawang free throw yan. Hindi <laughs> naman bonus free throw eh. Itong si Jose uh, Quebec, 17 points already, three rebounds and one assist coming off the bench. Oh, bad pass. Movilia with a steal. Meneses. Outside we go. Pan! 76 to 61. In a buhay and ulit. The uh -oh. crowd natin dito sa Cuneta with that Yugto three pointer. At mahirap kalabanin yung momentum, uh, Kyle. That's right, Coach Sandy. We go to the corner, the short corner. That is. Uh, Fritz David. A good concentration there from Fritz David. He was open for a short while, but he was able to knock it down. 76 to 63. 10 seconds remaining of the shot clock. Foul is called. And uh, Hans Yu will go to the free throw line. Yes, medyo na huli dun sa rotation. Itong si Alfaro. That was uh, the uh, Joe Mario. Which gives them more breathing room. Ang laki talaga ang tulong ng three-point shot. Ano? Yes, coach. That is uh, the great equalizer in basketball, especially for small guards. Uh, small guard ka, wala kang shooting, wala kang... Oo, oh, 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 mahirap, mag, mahirap, uh, ano? mahirap mag, uh, mabigyan ng consistent minutes kung wala kang shooting, oh, tapos maliit ka pa. Magaling ko pa mag-depense eh, kailangan mo... Kahit hindi ka taga-score naman. Yes, sir. So, you are the last, if you're the point guard, you are the last one to, uh, to, to make a basket, right? Yes. Pass first mentality yan eh, kailangan eh. Yes. But also, you have to be a threat to score. Otherwise, oh, kailangan talaga, threat sasag, ka rin. Sasag off lang lagi yung defender mo. Inside we go, and Movilia, John Lloyd Movilia, continues to shine. John what Lloyd, is the CUP? Movilia has been the beneficiary of some beautiful passes from his teammate. Oh, three-pointer from uh, Ramon Chito Rodriguez. And still not uh, going away. Uh -huh. The Holy Angel within shouting distance, but in 14 points. Shot clock reads a 10. Meneses, no look pass. Foul is called. And uh, Hans Yu will go to the free throw line for high school basketball at the Arellano University. Tubagi is fouled. He will go to the free throw line. Again, Tubagi falls on the floor. 
playing hard for his team today and he will be rewarded once <laughs> not the tallest player obviously but showing a lot of heart here today thank you Tristan to Bangi <laughs> the free throw the lead is down to 13 once again you know this is a better quarter for holy angel university scoring 21 points compared to the 15 of cup yeah, like time is not on their side they're down by uh, 13 points. Final two minutes of this game. Shot clock, 10 seconds. And that is a foul on, uh, who was that on? That was a, uh, I believe on Jerlan Manaloto. Oh no, I think that was on uh, Carl Timbul, who was guarding itong si John Lloyd Movilla, who was sealing him down low. We have a timeout back in a moment. by Carl Timbol. Holy Angel now in the penalty. A minute and 43 seconds remaining in the fourth and final quarter. And the lead is back up to 15 for the hometown team, the CUP. City University of Pasay, Green Eagles. And uh, safe to say, maybe one more defensive stop for the white shirts and uh, it could be all she wrote for this opening game. Diggas Mon misses inside, he gets it back. Another offensive rebound for him. who gets fouled once again <laughs> Tristan Dubangi <laughs> Karamihan or maybe half of the team fouls for the entire ball game nitong CUP binigay nila dito kay Tristan Bangi now with 11 points and most of those coming from the free throw line goes two out of two is it Pretty good free throw shooter. Yes, he is a tough cookie. Really being able to absorb all types of contact and still keeping a cool head. Kanina pa siya na bibigyan ng mga cheap shots ng no opposing team, but still just focusing on the game plan. But unfortunately, mukhang kukulangin ang kanyang effort here. Well, they can close the gap here. 82-69. Golden Guards is shooting below 50% here in the game. So 25 of 68. Too many misses, by the way, for them. Well, CUP shooting 59% from the field. 40 seconds to go. Quebec. Shot clock at six. It did not hit the rim. Two seconds remaining of the shot clock of CUP. Tumaman ng bagya. And the steal by... And 
That will be it, unless UP uh -oh. hits another basket. It will be a 13-point victory, 82-69. Much to the delight of the home crowd here in Pasay City. Standing Fourth. ovation para sa home team. Yes, fourth game is now in the books in the opening day of the 22nd season of the Naasku. The Green Eagles, 82, the Golden Gardens, 69. CUP shooting 57% from the field. That's 32 of 56. Shooting 42% from downtown, 8 of 19. Also percentage, 58%, 10 out of 17. And they were sharing the ball well. 26th assist for the tie game for the Green Eagles. Total team effort right now for the CUP Green Eagles. And I have to commend the coaching staff for instilling that mindset in their boys to make it a collective effort here today. And that's why they come away with a 13-point victory over the visiting Holy Angel Ho Guardian, Golden Guardian. <laughs> and their bench scored 54 points also. Again, the final score, 82 to 69, and Maris Victorio is ready with our best player of the game. Maris, take it away. I'm now here with our best player of the game. Ah, naka execute kami ng solid gameplay. Ah. Sinunod lang namin yung mga tinuro ni coach sa amin kung ano yung inaensahe namin araw-araw. Kaya yun, mas na nakabisado namin kung ano yung system namin. Kaya mas naka-execute kami ng maayos. Now, with that performance you guys showed, ano pa kaya ang maaasahan naming makita sa CUP? Uh, maaasahan nyo na mas mag-aasahan uh, consistent sa mga ginagawa namin. Yun lang. Saan talaga namin yan, John Lloyd? Ngayon, pagkakataon mo nang bumatay o magpasalamat, ang daming sumusuporta sa inyo ngayon. Uh, binabati ko yung ano, uh, first of all, yung family ko, uh, Pella Athletics, sa mga boss namin sa Big Four, uh, si UP Eagles, tsaka sa girlfriend ko, kay Eric Pardinas. Alright, again, this is John Lloyd Mavilia, our best <laughs> Back to you, Sandy and Kyle. Alright, thank you very much, Maris and Kyle. We still have a game, the last game to cover later on. Ama versus Andy Run. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you. 